Now, how do we receive it? How do we take advantage of this offer? How do we respond to the invitation? Well, it's put in a few different ways. The main word is simply to come to him. It's there four times in verse 1 and once in verse 3. Come to me, he says. Come to, to him. Come to God. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. To that water of life, to that wine, that new wine, to that bread of life, to that feast in your heart. God had said earlier in Isaiah that he was coming to them. Now, he says, you must take a step toward me. You must come to me. Respond to my invitation. I once heard a preacher at a mission say, God has taken one giant step towards you in Jesus. Now, all you have to do is take a small step toward him and come to him. Respond to his invitation and take advantage of his offer. Listen is another word we've seen many times in Isaiah. He wants us to listen to him. Give ear and come to me, verse 3. Listen that you may live. Middle of verse 2, listen, listen to me. And eat what is good. Listen. Shh. Listen. Stop talking. Stop listening to your own thoughts. Listen to his his word. Listen. He's speaking to you through his word. Listen. Listen to him. In verse 6, we're told it's seek and call. Seek and call. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. How can we take advantage of this offer? We can seek the Lord and call on him. Seek means what? It means to search. You play hide and seek, you have to go and search for somebody till you find them. Now, you don't have to seek the Lord because he's hiding or because he's far away or because he's difficult to find. Why do we have to seek? I think we have to seek because we need to get over our own stubborn hearts, our own pride. We need to admit that we need him. We need to admit that Without him we are poor and needy. That we are without resources. That we have no spiritual claim. We have no spiritual wealth. We are bankrupt before him. Seek him. Go after him till you find him. Because we need him. And call. Call is very clear instruction, isn't it? We know what it is to call. Or to pray. I don't just mean on a... a calling on a mobile, but to call out, to call out for help. Lord, help me. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on me. If we're searching for somebody, if we're seeking someone, it makes sense to call out their name, doesn't it? Help. Save. Forgive. The Bible says everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, will find him and be saved. But do so before it is too late. Because it is only while he may be found, while he is near, in the period of your own lifetime. I want to ask you, have you ever really called on him? Have you ever really, from your heart, called out to him for his help, his mercy, his grace, his salvation? Lord, help me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, save me. Lord, satisfy me with your love. Is that something you've ever really done? With humble faith. 